Hey there, it's Donna. So, I wanted to have a little talk about thrift stores. Um, there is a difference between thrift stores like Goodwill, Salvation Army, and thrift stores more like where I work. I work at Plato's Closet. Plato's Closet is a resale shop, but it's not like pure donation. It's not donations at all. You know, people don't just, they don't donate stuff to us. They get money for things that we accept. What I mean by things that we accept, meaning we don't accept everything. <laughs> um, thrift stores like Goodwill and Salvation Army is, you know, people literally drop off their shit, their stuff in front of the door and the store goes through and, you know, puts that stuff out onto their floor to, and they sell it to people. So, I mean, I guess I'm comparing it, I'm not comparing, but I know that there are better Salvation Armies than others. That's with any store, though. But I know that, like, the one that was by my house was disgusting. Like, that was my first experience with a thrift store at all in my entire life. And it was, it's so grimy and grungy. And it, it was disgusting. Literally disgusting. And... <laughs> I just always been repulsed by thrift stores ever since then. Of course, the, you know, like recently I've been going to other thrift stores, like the same one is like the same as Goodwill and Salvation Armies, like in other towns, and they're pristine. They're like beautifully, like clean, and everything is so organized. Whereas mine was just dusty, disgusting, and it smelled. You know, like one of those where there's like baby cereal all over the floor, there's broken glass, like, it's just, it's disturbing, and I've always been turned off by it, but, you know, other ones I've been to are amazing, but I guess what I'm saying is my first experience with a bad thrift store made me, like, totally turned off, like, I'm not, I am not ever going into one ever again, I'm never gonna buy used clothes, because I don't even know where it's been, you know, things like that, but I can say now that that was, you know, I was bad that I ever thought, you know, I made an assumption by one store. Now, I absolutely love thrift stores. I mean, those kind, I, I do as well. I mean, like, I found some great ones. You know, and that was the only bad one I've ever been in. They're all, they're, they, there's, good, there's good stores out there and there's good stuff in them. Plato's Closet is a little different. Things like Plato's Closet, I'm not really sure of other, like, places, but I know other thrift stores, they have... They're cut. They're people that come in and sell their stuff to them. Um, I'm only familiar with Plato's Closet that does that, so I'm just kind of explaining stuff like what my store does. Um, well, the store I work at, not my store, but yeah. So pretty much what it is is, you know, we only accept styles within a year and a half of them being in the stores. Like, so if there's an older tag, like on a Forever 21 shirt, and it's an older tag, we might not accept it, even though the value or the you know the overall value of the object is is okay like it's in good condition things like that but if the label is older unfortunately we, we don't we're not able to accept it it's mostly if we catch it i guess um but we have like a lot of um people that come in and we deny a lot of things anything just some you know we'll have like the most minor like wear and tear on it and you know that's it no we can't we can't take it some people bring in some really weird stuff. It's like, you know, <laughs> we don't take it. So, at, like, my, like where I work at Plato's Closet, it's not donations. It's we're very, really, we're really very picky on what we accept and what we pay people to put in our store. You know, what we pay them and take their items and then we put them out on our sales floor. So overall, the stuff that you find at like the place I work, it's more in style things. So it's more like, you know, you saw a top you really liked at, let's say, Charlotte Russe, but it, you didn't want to spend 20 bucks on it. You can possibly go to Plato's Closet and find that same top that was just in stores there at our store for like five or six bucks. You know, it's sort of like that. So you can find some really cool stuff like that. And honestly, it is so hard to work at that store because everything's like really like most of it is affordable we do have some de designer stuff that stuffs designer things that come in 
and like we we just had a I forgot we had a, like I think a Juicy Couture purse that was like 60 bucks our price 60 bucks you know because the retail price was so expensive things like that we have pants jeans that are over like $30 um, you know, guys, jeans, there's, we've gotten some in this like 60, 70 bucks still at our store because they, they get really expensive, um, depending on the original retail price, you know. So it's not like, you know, they're not all cheap, but they are like, our price is only 30% of the original price. So you're, you're, you're saving 70% on the item that you have bought at the store pretty much is how it, how it is pretty much getting a 70% off discount on the clothes you buy at our store at Plato's Closet than if you were to buy it at the actual store. So we, you know, the stuff we have out is, it's pretty, it's really recent, really it is. And it's good quality overall and I, it's so hard working there because you just want to buy everything, like literally. And plus like for us, we have to tag and censor the things that are sold to us from other people. So you're constantly having your hands on the clothes that just come in every day that you're working there. So you pretty much get first looks and first dibs on things that you see and like, oh, I'm going to put that in the play hold bin, you know, like I'm just going to hold that for me and I'm going to try it on later and try to buy it sort of thing. Of course, if you wait a couple days, too bad, the bin has to get thrown out, got to put it on the floor because you haven't bought it yet. So then some you find somebody else walking out and you're like, dang it, I should have bought that as soon as I got it. But oh well, you know. But I, yeah, I just wanted to, like, let everybody know the difference. Um, not the difference, but just if you, I know that there's going to be other people out there that are, like, had a really bad experience their first time through store shopping. Like, really bad experience and was like, I'm never doing this again. This is disgusting. That person probably has, like, you no, know, some person probably died in this or, you know, like, just because of the environment and you get so, like, oh. God, no way in hell am I doing this ever again. That's how it was for me. And I'm so, I was so surprised that I even, like, I, when I was applying for jobs, it's like, I'm never going to apply there because it's used clothes. I wouldn't be able to, to work there. But, I mean, after a while, I was like, you know, it's probably not that bad of a thing. And I had a, a family friend, you know, that I pretty much grew up with that was able to reference me that worked there already. So I really, had a benefit you know to be able to find a job and I'm so happy I didn't deny like her helping me out to get the job because literally I absolutely love it you get so much clothes I have so many accessories already from there I mean I haven't really bought much clothes I bought a lot of gifts for people but I started working like right a little like a month or so before Christmas time so I was already looking for gifts for people and oh, this one time I found a pair of Tom's shoes, like Tom's shoes that came in our store. And I don't know why, but they were priced at like only 14 bucks. And I was like, I'm getting those. I'm getting those from one of my friends. And I made sure that I had somebody that had the same size that the shoes were. Like that's a steal, you know. So we can find some really great deals there. And we have sales. I keep on saying we. Okay, it's not my store. Plato's Closet has sales all the time. All the time. Like, we have, like, Plato's Closet has, like, so many. Like, there's, like, two going on right now. Or they're coming up in March. You know, stuff like that. We just had, like, a, a dollar sale. Things, like, just find a Plato's Closet or, one of, like, a, a thrift store somewhere around you. And you'll be surprised, like, what you can find. I mean, you, yes, you have to search through it more than you would at, like, a regular store because everything is mixed in by category, like, short sleeves or sweatshirts, things like that. And especially, like, Plato's Closet, we don't put everything out on the floor as soon as we get it because there'd be no room in the store if we did that. We have a lot of bins backstocked, and people are constantly bringing us in and selling new clothes to us. So there's always something new out there every single day. Unlike your mall stores where it's, like, you have the same, like, collection uh, they're saying that that collection that the spring collection that's been there for months whereas at Plato's you get like stuff in all the time so check it out all right I'm done ranting about it just wanted to let the world know I guess all right talk to you guys later bye